Hello friends, this is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a really fine new recording on Nexus of Sibelius, the complete incidental music to The Tempest. Now, Nexus has a wonderful Sibelius series with all of the incidental music that he wrote to the various plays and things. And uh, most of that's conducted by Leif Segerstam, I believe, memory serves. But this is conducted by Aku Kamu with the hometown team, the Danish the Royal, pardon me, the Royal Danish Orchestra. That's what they're called. They're royal. Everything is royal in Europe, you know. The Royal Danish Orchestra and the Royal Danish Opera Chorus with a bunch of very good soloists who know what they're doing and they sing the whole thing in Danish because Sibelius wrote his incidental music to Shakespeare's The Tempest for Denmark. And uh, for the same people who actually commissioned Carl Nielsen's Aladdin, they decided to like get the other great Scandinavian composer for The Tempest. And so Sibelius did it. It was a commission. It was around 1926-ish or so. Do they have a date here? Yeah, 1925. Well, that's it. 25, 26. It's an extraordinary piece of music. Now, some of you may know it from the two suites. Um, you know, Sibelius made a couple of suites, but the fascinating thing about it and what makes the the complete incidental music worth hearing is that, first of all, you get all the songs and vocal bits, especially, you know, there's like a wordless chorus and, you know, other stuff like that that's really very cool and you should hear it in its original form. And second of all, the suites are are really separate works. They use the same material. But they're rather differently arranged. There are two suites, one for large orchestra, one for smaller orchestra. And they have very different orchestration in places. I mean, Sibelius took this music and created entirely separate works out of it. And the reason isn't surprising. The reason is because the music is just like unbelievably amazing. It really is. It has, it, it is so evocative and magical and so beautifully suited to the subject matter that you don't even need to care about the subject matter. That's the beauty of it. You know, you can hear them screaming in Danish till the cows come home. It doesn't make any difference. The music is just haunting. I, I, I think it has to be one of the most perfect marriage of music and matter, the thing that the music is describing that, that, that anybody ever came up with. This is late Sibelius, that is, haunting and harmonically austere and somewhat, uh, it's impossible to describe, it's otherworldly. And the play is otherworldly. You know, it's got Ariel and Caliban, you know, the two, the two elementals, the earth spirits, and, and, and you've got, you know, people running around and Prospero's a magician and he used to be the Duke of Milan and, you know, he's, he's, he's going to reconcile with his brother and Miranda and Ferdinand are going to get married and, you know, it's, it's one of those crazy plays where, where all kinds of supernatural things are going on. And Sibelius' music is supernatural and nature-haunted and, oh my God, it's great. I mean, there's just so much wonderful stuff. And this performance is really excellent. It really, really is. I mean, Kamu, first of all, Kamu has recorded the suites. He knows the music cold. Um, he really does. But beyond that, um, I, you know, this is live. And the audience is deathly quiet, which is just a necessity in this music because much of it's very soft and very, very subtle. And you don't want to have somebody, you know, like me, for example, with like bronchial issues, hacking and choking in the middle of it. And so nobody does, which is, you know, the only thing I would say about the recording sonically, which is beautifully balanced and atmospheric with the soloist, particularly really inside the orchestral image, the only issue is that the presence of an audience makes the acoustics somewhat dry and unresonant, which is largely compensated for, in my view, with the, the magic of the orchestral sonority. You don't really miss anything, but, but it's an issue. And there are so many beautiful moments. Oh, my God, including that incredible storm episode. You know, for the suites, Sibelius redid the overture and created a new version of the storm. But here, you just get the overture, overture, and it's like completely atonal and spooky and crazy. It's supposed to describe the shipwreck that originally that happens in scene one, which was cut from the play in this production, believe it or not. 
Um, this version, by the way, is not 100% note complete. There are a couple tiny, tiny little scene change things that they left out um, with Ariel coming and going or something like that. And I, you know, uh, but they do include the second Miranda is lulled to sleep episode, which the values did twice for some reason. And uh, you know, uh, there are a few recordings of the complete music. There's 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 one on Ondine. And there's one on Bis, of course, as part of the complete Sibelius edition. And they're all very good. And a bunch of versions of the suites. Um, but this is as good as any of those, easily. Uh, it's just beautiful. And the music, oh my God, what can I tell you? The music itself is just so haunting um, that you're gonna, you, you, you'll, just be, you'll just be swallowed up in it. it. You really will. Listen to my favorite track, which you can hear, not from this performance, but it's in, I think... Um, uh, miniature masterpieces, or one of those series that we did. Look at the Sibelius playlist. Miranda, the portrait of Miranda, one of the most incredibly beautiful and simple pieces of music ever, and it's done wonderfully here. That's kind of my linchpin for whether the performers get it, how well they're going to do Miranda, because it's, it's, it requires a, a solo cello and tiny violin tracery and just this beautiful melody in the middle. It's just got to be gorgeous. It, and it is. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking for a Tempest, go for it. You're, gonna, you're just going to love it. I guarantee it. It's just amazing music. Truly, truly amazing music. It's small little bits. Um, there's nothing very long about it. I mean, the longest thing in it is probably the overture, which is like four minutes. But boy, has this got some amazing music in it. It really, really does. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.